Mom? Mom? Mom! Uh. Vic, come on, pick up. Please, pick up. How many pills did you take, Mum? Uh. How many did you take? Uh. Hello, yes, ambulance, please. Hurry. I think Mum's taken an overdose. Mum, you're in hospital. I found you passed out in the flat. I know you're taking sleeping pills. Oh, no. I mean, what were you trying to do, eh? <sighs> Tell me you weren't trying to... No, no. How many did you take? I found one lot on the table, but <sighs> the paramedics asked me if you'd taken any more. No, I just took two. They just needed to sleep. They must have wiped me out. Tell me the truth, please, Mum. I just wanted to sleep. I swear. The last thing I wanted to do was take my own life. Please believe me. What are you even doing here? I mean, when did you get back from France? I didn't go. I never left the flat. They said I'm free to go. No treatment necessary. I feel like such an idiot. Wasting the time and taking up a valuable bed. Why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me you were staying? Because I didn't want any fuss. I've had enough of that to last me a lifetime. Do you understand how scared I was when I saw you lying face down on the sofa? The state of the place, all the tablets everywhere, I thought you were dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just wanted to disappear. Be alone. I still don't get why you didn't tell me you were staying. You could have said you needed some space. Nick's been worried too. Seeing Nick with Sam and knowing that Taya was going to get a foster child, it was just too painful. And I was angry with them. Why should they have what's been taken away from me? And then I hated myself. Because of course they deserve happiness, of course they do. And they've both been so kind. But I didn't want kindness. I didn't want to be told, oh, you're, you're strong. You'll get through it. It'll get easier with time. I didn't want any of that. I just wanted to disappear, so I did. And I liked it that nobody knew where I was. But the pain hasn't disappeared. It's just got worse. And it's even worse when I'm lying in bed in the dark. That's why I phoned Dr. Gaddas and I asked her to give me some sleeping tablets and I should have only taken one. I just... just needed some peace. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's OK. It's OK. Probably tidy up. No, oh, I'll do that. You make yourself comfortable. What are they for? Um, they were for they were for Jenny. Uh, Johnny's been in court today, so I thought they might cheer her up. That's thoughtful. Can't be easy living there at the minute. Well, don't worry about me. I'm fine. It's you I need to be looking after. Anyway, should I make something to eat? No, you've done enough, Si. I'm not leaving you on your own. I'll call Nick and Tyre and they can come over. No, no, I don't want anybody knowing I'm here. Oh, what's happened? You can't keep hiding yourself away. Please, Si, I'm not ready to see anybody, not yet. Whoever that is, don't tell them I'm here. What's going on? I've been hanging out here sometimes whilst Mum's been away. So I say, what a mess. I was going to clear it up. Have you been drinking? I've only had a couple of glasses. What, after everything with your dad? Yeah, I know. Look, I've just been stressed and everything's been hard recently. OK. I know you've had it hard, but don't start drinking. 
OK, your mum and dad have got enough on their plate. Yeah, I know. Look, I only had a couple of glasses with a mate, that's all. You been drinking today? No, I haven't. I thought you meant to meet Kelly. I saw her today, she didn't seem happy. Yeah, I chickened out. Sorry? Yeah, I know. Look, I'm going to sort it out with her. Is that why you're me? Because you're owing dad? Yeah. And I didn't pick up? Well, it's fine. You've got a lot to think about, especially Sam. I'm sorry. You know I'm always here for you. And don't doubt yourself. You're a catch, OK? You've been really strong through all this. And if you're feeling wobbly or stressed, I'm always here. And if you can't get me, just come into the factory. Just pull me out of a meeting, all right? Just don't hold yourself up here. I promise. Right. Well, uh, I won't tell you, Mum and Dad, OK? Just tidy up. I don't want your mum coming back and finding all this. Yeah, I will do. And no more drinking. Sorry. I feel terrible. Didn't realise you had a date. Don't worry about it. Well, why do you go and see Kelly now? I'm not leaving you. Sorry, I'm only going to say much telly. Look, I'm staying. All right, I'll call her later and I'm sure she'll understand. I don't deserve you. Well, you did a lot to look after me before. It's about time I started looking after you as well. Go on, sit down. <laughs> Food's ready. Why are you whispering? Oh, because I've lost my voice. Oh, is that your excuse? That's really pathetic. <sighs> look, I'm really sorry I didn't turn up. Oh, I'm not. I had a lucky escape. <sighs> I was going to come, honestly. I just... I just feel ill. Yeah, well, why didn't you call, then? Or text? Oh, because I... I went for a lie down and I fell asleep. You just made that up. It's true. Yeah, well, I know I'll lie when I hear one. Listen, can I make it up to you? How about tomorrow? Forget it. You had your chance. Don't call me again. <sighs> Don't bother. He's not worth it. Everything all right, Si? Yeah, everything's OK. Look, go back to sleep. I'll heat your tea up later. OK, thanks. I still think we should tell somebody. Nick or Toya. No, please, I si. Don't need anyone. All I need is you. I love you. I love you too.